are you considering moving to Edmonton? Well, I'm gonna have to give you some facts to clear up some common misconceptions. Hi, I'm Jen, your Edmonton expert, and I'm gonna give you the truth for six of the most common misconceptions about Edmonton. Number one, the tallest freezing in Edmonton. <laughs> okay, this is not true. It is not always freezing in Edmonton. Uh, yes, it's true. We have very, very cold winters. However, I find the spring and falls to be reasonable. You might still have to wear a sweater, but they're not freezing. We don't have a wet, climate which I feel like that kind of um, climate will chill you to the bones when it's a little bit cold. It's very dry here so it's pretty easy to not feel that cold in the spring and fall. The winters obviously it's very cold um, and the summers are quite nice. You're gonna see the sun up in the summer from just after 5 a.m. to almost 11 p.m. at night and it can get as hot as 30. We have this thing feels like and uh, sometimes that 30 could feel almost like 40, which isn't hot if you're from really hot places. But once you climatize to the Edmonton climate, it does feel quite warm and it's enjoyable. Misconception number two, Edmonton is so flat and boring. Okay, Edmonton is, yes, it's pretty flat. I wouldn't say it's boring. Um, just check out this view. This is the view from my condo. I mean, it does look pretty flat, but the sunsets are amazing. So that's not boring, right? No, but in all honesty, Edmonton has an amazing river valley. The river valley has quite a bit of elevation. You can go hiking through there for miles. Edmonton's river valley is actually the largest parkland in North America. Does that sound boring? I don't think so. Common misconception number three. Edmonton is only an oil town. This is far from being true. Yes, Edmonton may be the oils industry hub for when it comes to industrial type work. There are some plants located just on the outskirts of the city and there's a lot of industrial support type business like fabrication shops and whatnot. However, the economy is quite diverse here. You will see jobs in the tech sector, education, public sector, and healthcare. Now, before any of you tech people comment below, no, we don't have a call center. And I know we need to. There's a lot of call centers in Montreal area, and it's way more affordable to live in Edmonton. So, I don't know, maybe somebody should open some up here. Common misconception number four. The politics in Edmonton favor the Conservative Party. You're thinking that this is true, right? But you'd be wrong. Actually, Edmonton often votes for the NDP, which is the Social Democratic Party in our province and in the country. Canada, that is. I have heard in the past when people are moving here that they're really surprised of the support the NDP gets in Edmonton. Now, to be clear, Calgary and rural areas do tend to favor the Conservative Party. And that includes the outlying cities around Edmonton. When you look at thing, places like Leduc, Spruce Grove, Stony Plain, St. Albert, Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan, they would still favor the Conservatives. It's really the city that proper of Edmonton that is favoring the NDP, especially the core. Misconception number five, Edmonton is dangerous and crime ridden. Any major city of similar size does have crime. It's a fact. I personally haven't lived in a lot of different cities, though I couldn't find anything that says that Edmonton is actually worse than the other cities of similar size. I've lived in Calgary and I go there regularly because my sister does live there and I don't feel that Edmonton is any worse and we're a little bit smaller than Calgary. There are small areas in the city that may feel a little bit more dangerous 
Now crime can happen in any part of the city. If you didn't know, downtown is one of them and I live downtown and I feel pretty safe here. However, I don't really go out at night. So if somebody is to say that it's really bad between like 11 p.m. and 5 a.m., that could be true. I don't know, but outside of those hours, I think it's great. Now, of course, downtown homelessness or people that look kind of sketchy are gonna be more visible than in other neighborhoods, but they don't generally make me feel unsafe. The sixth misconception about Edmonton. It's boring. <sighs> well, I guess that's all a matter of perspective. Like, what do you like? Um, so like, if you're a huge fan of professional baseball or the NBA, this city's gonna be really boring for you because actually all of Canada will be boring for you except if you go to Toronto because they're the only city that has a professional uh, baseball team and a basketball team. And regarding nightlife, as I mentioned previously, I'm not really generally out late, so you'd have to ask somebody else about that. But when it comes to anything daytime, I think Edmonton is fantastic. There is so much vibrancy and so many things to do in this city. I can't even keep up. We're basically, as you probably heard in other people's videos, we are the festival city of the West, of Western Canada. There are so many festivals. It's not like just one a weekend. You're gonna have to make a choice on what you wanna do. <laughs> Plus there are so many theaters and music venues here where you can catch up on that kind of stuff if that's what you like. Plus the shopping is amazing. We have one of the biggest malls in the world. It used to be the biggest mall in the world. You can basically get anything you want there. Even a car, you can buy a car at the mall. Crazy. And there's like smaller activities that you can do that are super fun, like rent a bike from Pedago and take their art tour. They give you basically a guided tour on all the cool public art in the city. How is this boring? Anyway, I hope that clears up those common misconceptions about Edmonton. You found this video to be helpful. If so, please click that like button and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.